Welcome everybody to the very first episode here at Texas Top Shelf Reptiles. I'm Chad and I want to show you where we're getting started. So like I said before, I'm Chad and this is Texas Top Shelf Reptiles. So I'm now a stay-at-home dad. Uh, I did work for a long time as a corporate manager in a couple different jobs and I owned my own remodeling company for a long time. But due to some health issues, I had to stay at home and my wife went back to work. So now I stay at home with our children. So what do I do now? Where, how many of you are out there are like that? Super driven, busy person to, hmm. Well, I was soon to find out that this was a job, but what happens when your little princess is all grown up? This is my daughter, Savannah. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. And our son, Dalton, is behind the camera. And this is Einstein, her bearded dragon. Careful. It's time to make dreams happen. So, we have big plans here at Texas Top Shelf Reptiles. Uh, we have a new homestead coming, and we have big plans. I'll give you one clue. It's on the shirt. But in the future, we'll be growing immensely. So if you want to follow along this journey, like and subscribe and share down below. And at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you to add some comments. Because we have ample amount of room to grow. And as you see, I have a tank. There are two tanks that don't even have anything in it. But we'll have land and all kinds of enclosures that I build. I have uh, realistic, as you see, enclosures that I really like to do. So if you want to follow that journey, follow down below. This video I'm making just for an introduction and also to tell you what I have coming up here really quickly. So I'm going to be making an enclosure video of how I make one of these bearded dragon enclosures. I have a client that wants a 4x4x2 four by four by bearded dragon enclosure. And so we're going to make that step by step, day by day. So you can kind of follow along. You can see how I get all of my materials on a budget. And yeah, I get things on a budget even before materials were super expensive. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't have an extra arm and a leg to give away right now. So we'll go over all that in the upcoming videos. So I'll actually go over all the materials that we do have to buy and uh, how we use those specifically and the best results I'll go over some of the mistakes I've used or made because it has been an evolution of the couple of tanks that I have made and show you what I think that works best this guy's working out great for the camera this is Einstein if you've already met him though but he's he's pretty cool bearded dragon so we wanted to say thank you for coming along on this journey with us and we hope to see you back in the future videos. So like I said, put those comments down below and we'll do all this together. But for right now, everybody, reptile on. Yeah.